don't know about you guys, but waiting in queue has been starting to get a little bit annoying. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the past like 12 hours, Fortnite servers have been completely down. And then this morning when they finally do go up, on PS4 servers, it's a little bit slow. So a lot of people are having login issues, but it's only on PS4 servers, which it's, it's starting to get a little annoying just because I love this game, man. I mean, my passion for this game, just wanting to play it all the time, wanting to make a video for you guys. Sometimes it's delayed because of uh, the, the servers being down and stuff like that. If you guys know, today is what? Thursday, and every Thursday they release a whole new week challenges where a lot of YouTubers end up releasing videos talking about those challenges and it's a lot of fun. And we actually get to be able to do something different in the week because it's, it's a weekly challenge or something different about it. So it's a lot of fun. But guys, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about something completely different. As you guys see in the new updates, there's only an LTM 50 vs 50 coming up. It's actually out right now, but we're gonna be talking about the future limited time mode game mode that's gonna be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. If you guys did not hear, there's supposedly supposed to be something coming to Fortnite Battle Royale that proved a lot of us wrong. And as we talk about this, guys, we're gonna go ahead and try and get a solo victory royale. Literally the first game on since I don't know how long ago, probably like 15, 16, 18 hours of not playing this game. This is my first time on in a while. So guys, bear with me if I struggle a little bit. Again, we're still getting used to the new button layout because if you guys wanna be a quicker builder, watch my last video. I talk all about it. There's a new layout and everything like that to it. But in today's video, we're gonna do an edited version. I know yesterday a lot of people actually show a lot of love and support. They actually really enjoyed the unedited versions. But in today, we're gonna go ahead and do an edited version just because I'm going to be reading stuff on screen as well as playing the game at the same time. So there's gonna be times where I'm just quiet trying to find the sources. Holy, all right, let's go to, I guess we could go, we could go Pleasant Park. Let's go Pleasant, why does my screen look like this? I, oh, I have my HUD off. Let me fix this real quick. Oh my gosh, look at my freaking thing, you guys. Look at my name, my health, my, the people on the map. Everything is literally screwed up right now. It, it seems to do that. It's just a little glitch whenever you like change your HUD or something like that from a certain scale and then you put it back to 100. It, it, it always does this for some reason. I don't see, I don't think I see anyone here with us, guys. We, we might be good. Oh, there's someone right here. All right, there's one person right here in the same house as me but that's not gonna be an issue just because, oh, we got this weapon. I, actually, we got the purple version, which is the best version. So guys, keep in mind, we're gonna be talking about Tilted Towers because there's a lot of people that had a conspiracy theory that the meteor that's in the sky is going to destroy Tilted Towers. Now, this is this is just a theory that a lot of people are speculating within the game just because multiple things, uh, like one, game developers did not like Tilted Towers being in the game. A lot of people did not like Tilted Towers because it, it slowed down the rest of the map, like everywhere else, if you land somewhere, else like ex example a right now at Pleasant Park there's no one here but one person it's me one other person which Pleasant Park used to be one of the most packed places and oh he went to that house this place used to be one of the most packed places and then out of nowhere it just changed which is it's crazy oh my goodness I forgot I forgot we're on the new button layout you guys bear with me I'm still getting used to it this is probably my fourth game on using this button layout so I'm still getting used to it the best ability that I can but we're gonna try and get you guys a victory royale use oh someone's sneaking up on us Okay, he's dead. Look at this thing, man. This gun melts. I'm telling you guys, if you can hit your headshots, this gun, I don't want to say it's better than the shotgun because when you're in a shotgun fight and you and the other person are jumping up and down, definitely going to be a little bit easier to hit your shotgun shots, but the light machine gun is slept on. And a lot of people are telling me that if you, you shoot, you zoom in and shoot again, that's how you double pump, but it's not working for me. I think it might be better just to use the... Uh, yeah, I don't know. We're just we're gonna stick with it. We're gonna try and use it to see how good it is because I know a lot of people commented on my video saying that I was double pumping wrong and that you're supposed to zoom in after you shoot. Like you shoot, zoom in, shoot. Oh, there he is. Oh no, this is this is this is very slow, you guys. Holy crap, man! I'm gonna have to drop that. I'm not gonna rock that just because of how slow it shoots and I know the tactile submachine gun slept on. It's a really good weapon, so we're gonna go ahead and rock this instead. I'd rather switch to that. You know, actually, let's use the burst. I'd rather switch to the uh, tactile. Ooh, someone's over here. Hang on, guys. I'm sorry if I cut off my conversation. I literally sometimes just gotta focus up and try and get these kills. Oh, he's building up. See, it's a lot quicker to switch to a different weapon and try and kill them rather than sitting there trying to double pump somebody. I don't know who's up. I think this person's trying to double pump too. <laughs> oh, there goes that. He's dead. 
But a lot of us had the conspiracy theory. I keep going off topic. I'm going to try to stay on topic. A lot of us had the conspiracy theory that Tilted Tower is going to be destroyed by the Meteor. And that's because the dev, the people over at Epic Games, they don't like Tilted Towers because of how slow it's made the game and how unpopulated other parts of the map are because everyone's going to Tilted Towers. So I heard that they wanted to get rid of it on, in like Reddit posts and stuff like that. And Tilted Towers, I mean, everything made sense. I mean, a Meteor coming to destroy Tilted Towers, that's how they get rid of it without just getting rid of it randomly they just actually destroy it by a meteor and the whole theme of season 3 is space themed and stuff like that so it made sense for the meteor to come destroy Tilted Towers but the thing is you guys is recently there was actually a leaked image going around where you guys know who data miners are they basically go into the systems updates and stuff like that and they find coding within the game that's basically going to be future content for the game uh, a lot of these people ended up finding all these new skins whenever us youtubers find these free skins or these new skins that come out we find out weeks early, and that's because these data miners go through the coding and they find these skins for us. So with that being said, a data miner actually ended up going through the Fortnite update, and they found these skins all over the coding and stuff like that. Guys, I'm going to show you a picture on screen right now. This is exactly what it looked like. We're going to rush this person. I think he's up here. Yeah, I hear him. I hear him. Oh, crap. Oh, he's in here. Uh oh, he's weak. Oh, he's gonna watch. I'm gonna get sniped. There we go. Woo! I was honestly scared because if he was a good player, that that pulling out the sniper was probably the best bet if he had really low health. Oh, someone's over here. Watch this. I'm about to I'm about to rush this person, and he's not gonna know what's going on. You ready? Uh, we'll use the pulse bomb. Oh! Oh my god, I thought I died. Let me jump down. Oh my goodness. Guys, I don't know about you, but the pump, because of the new reload animation, sometimes, even if you don't shoot the pump, just the second you switch to it, you cannot shoot the gun right away because you have to wait for the, the animation of your character actually pulling the shotgun out. So by the time he pulls it out, that's when you can finally shoot it. So even if you're not double pumping or anything like that, it still makes the pump shotgun very slow. Like, I don't know about this update. I don't know how I feel about it. Someone shot at me from over here. I just don't know where the heck they are. Yeah, I think, I think he's up here. Oh, there he is. Oh, he sees me. Let's go, baby. Yeah, he's in here. Oh my goodness, he took so much. Guys, I'm s I'm so sorry. I'm so focused on this gameplay right now to the point where I completely forgot that I'm making a video. I'm, I'm literally just trying to get a win. It's my first game on, so usually my first game on, I go try hard because I'm trying to like just get used to it and get warmed up. But I completely forgot. All right, so basically, if you guys don't know, there is a new leak with data mining that happened. A lot of these uh, data miners ended up finding a new coding within the game. If you guys don't know what the LTM stands for, it's limited time mode. Basically, like 50 versus 50 snipers only. Uh, uh, high explosives all those are limited time game modes you guys so all those are just temporary game modes that they added within the game and they, they found a new one. Oh, I think I have a launch pad we're gonna launch pad up there and get this kill oh my goodness switching to a launch pad is so awkward with the new button layout that was my first time ever doing it switching through your traps is so awkward with your button layout oh he's right here How are they? How did they have all shield? Every single shot I shot on that person had shield. Let's heal up real quick and talk to you guys about this freaking data mining. I, can't, I keep getting distracted, but basically it shows, I'll show on screen right now an image of what they ended up finding. There's a new game mode called Impact. This game mode is only going to be a solo game mode. Now, a lot of people are thinking that th there's a specific reason that it's only a solo game mode, but who knows? It could be many different reasons for this. Some people are even saying that because it's only a solo game mode that they're going to maybe in the future make it Tilted Towers is destroyed only for solo players because in squads, a lot of people 
can go to Tilted Towers and have fun. But in solos, it's gonna space things out. Who knows? That's just a theory that I wanted to tell you guys that people are discussing. I don't think that's possible. I don't think that's one of the things that's gonna happen. I just think it's honestly a limited time game mode. But in the article, it actually says that this could be linked with the new meteor that we see in the sky. Oh my god. Choke so hard right there. Again, none of this is 100% confirmed, you guys. It's just theories going on. And if you guys haven't noticed that actually 50 vs 50 is delayed this week and it's supposed to be coming out next week. Now, apparently, what I'm thinking is they were supposed to release 50 vs 50 this week and then next week or two weeks from now, that's when they were going to release the new LTM because every week they seem to be doing something new. But because it's delayed, that means we're going to have a delay on this new game mode coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, which means we can be waiting even longer to find out what the Meteor actually does. Now, the reason people are saying that this has something to do with the meteor is because of the name of it. It's called Impact, and, and basically what happens when a meteor hits Earth, it impacts, it hits, it, it impact that's the definition basically of impact so with a lot of people thinking this uh, it's possible that it could be it and also people over at epic games or whoever found out the coding that's what they're saying and they, they might have found something that they didn't show to us or something like that but you got to trust the data miners because so far they've been a hundred percent right oh my goodness Switching to your pump is so slow. But these data miners have been 100% right with everything that they've released. It seems that Epic Games is so busy. They're so busy with updates and stuff like that that they don't have time to actually throw in fake coding within the game so that way they can throw people off. Because if you guys don't know, that's what actually a lot of these big game developers do is to stop data miners from finding out new future content coming. They'll end up throwing a lot of fake stuff in so that way people don't believe everything they hear. But so far, Epic Games hasn't done that once. Every time we've seen something, it's been in the game files. They just haven't released it. Someone's right here. Oh, bet. Watch this. What the hell? Oh, my God. Kick just glitched out so hard. What the heck? He jumped down? Why would he jump down? Oh, no. Oh my goodness, I'm so freaking weak, you guys. I definitely have to heal up, but good thing we have a freaking campfire. I, I hate switching through these. You know what? We have more than one, so we'll do this. If you have more than one campfire, if you don't have a med kit or anything, do this, you guys. It's honestly the quickest way to heal. Um, It takes, I don't know how long, probably like 10 seconds. Just like a med kit. It, it's super quick, but... We're gonna keep talking about data mining and the whole conspiracy theory on the meteor. So with a lot of people actually thinking that this is going to be the new game mode, is that the meteor is gonna strike and it's only gonna happen temporarily. It's only gonna be in the new game mode where people are going to see the meteor strike Tilted Towers or something like that. So we may not be seeing Tilted Towers permanently gone from Fortnite Battle Royale. So a lot of people that want it to stay, Congratulations, it might be staying. But again, these are all just conspiracy theories. I wanted to bring it to you guys because I wanted you guys to be up to date with everything. I brought you guys the information about the meter striking Tilted Towers. So I wanted to bring you guys this information because we might be wrong, you guys. There might be a possibility that the Tilted Towers is going to remain in the game forever. This is literally just recently today we found out this information. So of course, I had to bring you guys this information today. Oh shit, it's a 1v1. We're about to get this dub. I need you guys to let me know down in the comments though. What do you guys guys think do you guys think that it's going to be possible do you think oh my god it's rpgs do you guys think it's going to be possible that it, tilted towers is still going to be destroyed by the meteor or do you think that the new ltm game mode is going to be the reason tilted towers is destroyed it's not like a a sure thing are you oh my goodness you guys i really thought he destroyed my entire base. I for completely forgot about the back walls. He's all right. That was a smart play. Congrats to him, you guys. I had 12 kills. It was still a good game. I'm still going to upload this because you don't win every single game. I don't want you guys out there thinking that I win every single game I play. That's not true. I do lose a lot. And he just he just outsmarted me there. But hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you guys think is going to happen with the Meteor? I'm going to read every single comment. So just let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.